It was an up and down start for Gavin Williams. He did not get your ten strikeouts like you I predicted, said but overall I was a win's disa- a win. I was very disappointed because I was expecting him to come here and be just magnificent. He was playing he was facing a triple A lineup and I expected him to dominate. He didn't. Uh, obviously, in the grand scheme of things, it's meaning it's meaningless. Uh, and he could. I wouldn't surprise him if he went out his next start and did what I wanted him to do last night. But you know, he got beat for the home run by Noda in that inning. It was a three-run shot, and he wasn't dominant. He wasn't overpowering. What did he finish with? Three strikeouts, four, four, four strikeouts, three walks. All right, you know, Vegas had it right. I was wrong. I thought it was an easy over on the strikeouts, five and a half. But. Uh, the guy's going to have a lot of great starts. He didn't pitch particularly great, but I give him credit. He A lot of young pitchers giving up big four runs in the third inning could fall apart. He didn't. He I would. I don't understand why Francona took him out with two outs in the inning. I don't like doing that. He walked one batter. Let him get out of the inning. Let him pitch the six innings, whatever. I think most managers do that. But I like the way he bounced back after the terrible third inning. Didn't let the game get away, and the team did a good job coming back. His velocity was down a little bit compared to what Zach and I were, Zach yeah. and I were tracking it. And right. He's been like a 98, 99, 100, right. even 101, that. and he wasn't throwing that no. last night. Just something to watch. I don't know if it was nerves or whatever. It's just something yeah. to keep an eye on. I would expect him to be back up in that 98, 99, 100 range as he settles in and gets comfortable. I thought Will Brennan had a huge catch in right field. I hope he's not hurt. Uh, took him out of the game after that. I think yeah. that helped settle him down a little bit, Williams, because he really sort of rolled after that. It was he, he got banged around a little bit, but uh, he's going to be. I think he's here to stay. Certainly with yeah, McKenzie. The only way he's not here to stay is if he gets if destroyed. He gets, if he gets right, yeah, like Grayson really Rodriguez, up. one of the best yeah. pro- prospects in baseball, yeah. came with Baltimore. It's hard. Uh, yeah. Not mediocre. Even if, he's, even if he's mediocre, he's staying. He's probably here. It's only if he's just destroyed. Right? I, I think. I, w- w- Got me. He he had a, a a big swing and miss rate like in the minors. The difference between the minors and you get up here is major league guys have better play, you know, discipline. There's That's some true. pitches that he threw last night. I think Triple A batters would have swung at and missed probably. But when you get up here, major league baseball guys are going to make you really pitch and they're going to really hone in on on what they want to do right in that plate appearance. So I think so his strikeout, he has good enough stuff to get swing and misses and strikeouts. It's just the fact that he's going to have to figure out the way he wants to spot it in the sequencing of his pitches. But, I mean, look, I'll take a guy here, and if Jason says his velocity is down at 97, <clears throat> I'm going to take that 97, yeah. right? Um, I thought he, 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 has nice, he has nice movement on his curveball. He just... He just hung one, right? And and if you hang yeah, one in the league, they go put the bad pitch. And he had fifty dudes, and fifty some people in the stadium yeah. watching him. That's yeah, kind of nervous. Listen, there's pressure, or whatever. He didn't pitch his best game. It's disappointing because it was his first start. You want him to be amazing right away, and it was against the horrible lineup. I mean, most of the most of the A's players are not starting there. Like I said yesterday, most of those guys are either bench players or minor leaguers on other teams. Um, but. It's one start. Hopefully, he'll bounce back and pitch even better. Hopefully, the way he pitched after giving up the four runs kind of calmed him down. The fact that the team backed him up, took him off the – like, I don't really care about wins and losses. They're meaningless stats in terms of how good a pitcher did. But players care about that, and he didn't take the loss because they came back and won the game. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you all, too, because this is, to me, we've been – everything we've asked for on the show, they've yeah. given us. Right, Bo Naylor's up here, young guys, yeah. young guy. Now you got the three young guys. Bo Naylor got his first hit. First finally. hit last night. Yeah. Now Josh we, Naylor had a nice oh, hit off the lefty. Oh, off the oh, lefty. Josh Naylor's off up there. The lefty. Four, four hits, bull. Hey, listen, <laughs> I only rank him against lefties, so I, 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 I haven't said anything bad about him against righties. He's been great. He's our I'm, best hitter right now. I'm Would glad you agree? he got. I, no, Jose's still the best hitter, but he's clearly number two. He's, he's the hottest right now. I mean, he's on fire. He's doing a great job. I mean, Zach and I were talking about this last night. It yeah. was – he's hitting 300. Mm-hmm. Like, he's right there with Jose now. It was – it wasn't that long ago. He was hitting, like, 213. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been on fire. And, and, and he'll, he's a streaky hitter. But even, he'll go through a cold spell. And Yeah, he will. Yeah. But even when his numbers were down, 
his advanced, no, his his advanced numbers he, were listen, showing that he was being he's unlucky. good. I still don't love him against lefties. I'm not going to change my mind. I actually meant to look it up. He does it. I actually meant to look it and I totally forgot. He's been, he, I'll give him this. He's been a little better against lefties. I like There's no power against lefties at all for the most part. Except for last night's piss rope into the seats and right. <laughs> for the Do you most part. Splits, Jason? But Is last night. I, yeah. Since like May. Yeah. Like May 15th. Give me like 15 days. Over his last month <laughs> so against lefties really is, is what I was trying to find. to find. Oh, his last month versus lefties. No, you can do it. His last month, I have his season versus lefties. You can do it. Um, you know what I just I don't know realized, if I can do it on my phone in 30 not, seconds, On though. baseball reference, I can't believe this. I just noticed this. When they do splits versus righties and lefties, yeah. it's based on who the starting pitcher of the game was. Well, oh, I mean, that's really? That's terrible. That I don't know why they do that. that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I like to at bats. It's not like by per at bat, it's by. No, they it's count terrible. all the at bats as if the starter was a righty, it's against the righty. I don't know why they do that. That's Are you they sure? Have such, that's, there was a little note on there that said that. Oh, I that's never noticed up. it before. That's messed up. Hey, listen, I'm already thinking you got these three young dudes, Allen, Bobby, uh, Gavin Williams. See, this is how and they're going to say G. Bush. You better stop saying that right yeah. now. You know, if all three of them hit, which is that's this early. Yeah. All three of them hit. You know they already doing the mental gymnastics saying hey, we can't keep all these dudes <laughs> at the same time. I mean, can they spread no it? Doubt. Now I'm like now I'm like, y'all, we might want to spread this thing out. I don't like how they all at the same age at the Jason, same time. Do you think they're already interested in talking, to, especially Williams and Bybee, about contracts? It's funny you mention that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna write about this, I think, coming up. I don't think I wonder if this team will ever sign a pitcher to a long-term deal ever, ever. They got burned on Westbrook. Right. That was a long time ago. But who yeah. have they done? Like Kluber, they signed Kluber. It was very team friendly and yeah. they moved him before the before option years yeah. came up. Right. But it worked. It worked Until with Corey. That, it, it worked, worked with Corey. Yes. But they didn't with Shane. And I think they're glad they didn't. They think they feel right. like they dodged a bullet. But did now. they not because he didn't accept it? Yes, they, they okay. tried. They tried. He so didn't you think now it. they're not going to do it? With I don't know. Pitchers? Like McKenzie, I think they had talks. I know they've had talks. Yeah. Never got anything done. He's never going to get a long-term deal. So now they'll from do them. it, but they'll do it at their price. I don't, well, if they'll have a price. Sure. But it's got to be a Jose type deal. Like, uh, even anything right. close to market rate. Right. I don't know if they're and ever let's going face, to. The reality of the situation with the young players is that the Latin ball players are much more likely yes, to sign these extensions yeah. because they come more often from poverty. Yeah. And the, the American players that many who have gone to college, not that there aren't plenty of American players who come from poor families, but the players that come from Latin America at a higher percentage come from very poor families. And so that money is going to set their whole family up for life. And the risk with extending pitchers on long-term deals, they all have, they all get hurt at some point. Almost all of them. Almost it's no dead exception. money on the shelf for that year or whatever it is that right. they're out. Right. I don't know if they'll ever like, and look at the Rays. The Rays don't sign any of their guys either. They signed Blake Snell and then they traded him yeah. right away. Hey. I thought they did extend Springs this before. I'm this telling I don't know. you, man. I, have to look. I, don't I think know. they signed him to an, they may have just, Paid him for his the rest of his arbitration years. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they gave him a new Pitcher, contract. Pitchers is pitchers is the overpowered version of running backs. I'm telling you, like if you yeah. got if you got Allen, Bybee, and Gavin Williams, yeah. and they all are are throwing the ball well. They're young. We're gonna be excited. Like look at our rotation. These guys are like 12 years old. They're gonna. But yeah. what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to choose yeah. which one you want, and the other ones. One of them may go for prospects or one of them may go for bats today. But at most, if you're the Guardians, you got one that you're going to sign and it's going to be team friendly. Well, Zach and I wrote a piece. I think it's up now. We wrote a piece last night and I, I'm of the belief they still I think we talked about the other day. They should still trade Shane even with the McKenzie Without injury. A doubt, yeah. Maximize the value I don't think now. McKenzie's going to play the rest of the year. I don't think he is either. No, I, I think not. he's there's probably a decent chance he's going to have Tommy John, but there's no point rushing into that now because he's going to miss next year regardless. By the way, if they if you have now I'm saying this yesterday, wow. this is bizarre. But if they trade Bieber, which I agree with you, I think they're going to do, and if McKenzie doesn't play the rest of the year, which I agree with you, there's a decent chance it could be Gavin Williams and Tanner Bybee in the first round of the first Absolutely. two games of the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Yeah. I mean, I know oh. Savali's a veteran, but those guys are way better than him. Yeah, like uh, yeah. today. I mean, the, ro the rotation the rest of the year, if they move Viber, is Williams, Bybee, L Logan Allen. Shit, Viber. Yeah, <laughs> because you're going to say Bybee. I know. Bybee. 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 That's a tough one. Bieber, Williams, Bybee. Williams, Bybee, Allen, 
Savali and Cal Quantrill is your rotation. Right. That's if crazy. they if they move Bieber. That's kind of right. Nice. But it, it to me, I for the ex, the added value you get for dealing Bieber now with two years of control. And I guess the whole reason I even brought that up was to bring it back to if you're not going to sign guys to long term extensions, basically you have five years with them. Mm-hmm. You have their three years of team control and three arbitration years. So really, I guess it's four because you're going to trade them with the right. two left. Yeah. So you got about four, four and a half years with these guys. And the way that they have this pipeline, right? I, you know, I asked Tito about it before the game last night. I said, "Does this feel like the next evolution of this staff?" Yeah. He said, "It kind of has to be because they can't go fishing in the waters right. of, of what it, what pitching well, they can, but they choose market not rates. To. Well, right. I mean, they're not we signing Gary Cole. They... They're not signing Gary no, Cole. Uh, not pitching. They, they could spend more money on free agents than they do. Well, sure, of course. But certainly, they but can't he, get Gary he Cole. said specifically about pitching. They sure. just can't fish in those waters. And, right. So they have. So and you're going to get four, four and a half years with these guys." Trade them and bring up the next batch yeah. and do it again. Were you surprised Tito said when you, after the game, he made it clear like, hey, it wasn't just because McKenzie was hurt. We was going to bring him up anyway. Right. He was already on the way up here. No, I'm not. I mean, they want. Yeah, they need to get a look at him yeah. to make the Bieber decision. Absolutely. 100%. You want to see. And you got six weeks with him now ish. You have six ish weeks to decide. Is he ready? And if he's ready, Shane's yeah. gone. You know, it, or I, on Tuesday, I said everything's so hard for the Guardians because the division's so bad. Because it makes it complicated what to do. However, in another way, it makes it easier for them to trade Bieber. Because in any other division, if you traded a pitcher like Shane Bieber, you'd be like, oh, you're giving up. Yeah. Right. In this division, even without Shane Bieber, Not they could really. still win it. Not really. In 2019, know. I didn't realize this. I went back yeah. and looked it up. It was This is in the piece I did with Zach. They were, I think it was 19 games above 500 in yeah. 2019. Three games out of first, and they traded Trevor Bauer. And did they really right. even miss him? I don't no. even think they missed However, him. However. Now they've got a losing record. Of course mm. you're going to move. And there was. There's different, re, you know. There was personality. Bauer things. was a pain in the ass. Yes. They wanted him gone. And he had worn thin in the, in the clubhouse. Yeah, right. All true. Shane doesn't have any of that. And but they traded for major leaguers. They did. And and I, I've said before, I think the Bieber deal could look a lot like the Bauer they deal. have to make that But you were 19 games over 500, right. three games out of first. They were tied for first when they traded Clevenger in 2020. Right. That's so it, they don't care Clevenger. necessarily. It's about. It's about the long-term health and the lifeblood of the organization right. and trading these guys and maximizing their value. In this case, it makes a ton of sense. They got to trade for major, at least part of the return has got to be major league hitters. There's no doubt about it. And you know, listen, the lineup overall in the last month has been better, but there's just too many holes in this lineup. And I think they caught they they feel in their heart of hearts. They like, look, we caught Minnesota. Like they, y'all done. Like if you, they felt like if they get anywhere close to two games back uh, in Minnesota, yeah. that they they're gonna overtake them. And after the All Star break, they'll start making strides. So it makes sense to say, look, get a couple more bats. You got some. It, it, you know it's wild. Mate Naylor's looking a little bit better. Yeah. Maybe Bell hits a little more, but no. they still need a. We, no. Uh, uh, Fran Mill Bell. <laughs> You've already I've soured. Lost. I've You're lost. done. Listen, there not is. as much as Jay has. <laughs> Jay. You guys are killing Bell yet. Yet Jason and Jay are the two biggest mile straw apologists on the face. No, of no, 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 no. I'm not. And I understand he's a, he's a very good defensive player, but, but you he know, can't it's, hit a lick. But it's funny you mentioned Miles because I yeah. told Zach last night, I'm not necessarily this year, but by next year, I think you have to make a decision on the three outfielders and pick one. You pick one between Straw, Quan, and Brennan, Green. and that's your center Thank fielder. You. Wow! And you need, you need I like new, that. You need new corners you on got, each side. You got to have some power. It's they, not going to happen this year, I no. don't think. But Valera is an Valera is an internal Let's option. Go. I mean, we can't. You have to have an external do, option. Have three guys that can't hit home runs. You got to pick one of those three, and that's your center uh, fielder. To me, I'm it's, going Quan. Definitely Quan. I'm going Quan. Quan's Maybe not Brennan. having a very good year. Maybe no. Brennan. Quan's not having a good so year. So what are you going with, Brennan? I don't know. Maybe I want to see it play out the rest of the year. Straw's not. It's probably not going to be Straw. No. I, I don't care. I, I understand his defense is very good. Is there any other center fielder? That plays only for their defense as much as he does. No, there's other guys who play. Yeah, but not every day like he does. Yeah, he's not an everyday player. I'm just saying, he shouldn't be. Quan is chasing pitches this year that he yeah, didn't swing no, at he's last not year. He's good. not having a very. Yeah, good I don't year. love any of them. I don't love any of them. Yeah. I think Quan's the best of the three. I think Brennan might have the most potential of the three. Miles Straw stinks. He stinks. He, he is not a major league caliber hitter. He's never been a major league caliber hitter. I don't want to hear about his spring training. I don't want to hear about a couple of hot weeks he has. And by, He's and, not a hitter. And by the way, just you mentioned you got to get a hitter back for Bieber. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I tend to agree. But, you know, Zach, we talked about this last night. Yeah. 
trading Bieber is not the only way to get a hitter. Like they could easily package Rokio and some of these 17,000 middle infielders. Oh yeah, they do it. And other prospects. That's fine. It's not, it's not, we have to trade Shane Bieber to get a bat. Yes. It's, you know, there's a, they could buy and sell. You could yeah. trade Bieber and you could right. trade Rokio in a package. And I, I agree, in different which pieces. what they did in the Bauer with, with Bauer right. and, and other moves. Uh, and, and I remember going into that saying, there's no way they could trade Bauer and it not be a dump trade. And I was wrong. They, they did well, a they, job. they didn't get a lot for it. It turned out to be a bust. It was well, one of that's the few true. moves. But at the time of the trade, work. it seemed like a great it trade. It seemed like it, I loved it at the it, time. It's it, like, know. oh, my God, look at all this power they just right. brought in. Fran Mill and, and Puig. Right. They just flipped the entire that's lineup. So, it, that's so well, crazy. Fran Mill played well for them that year. He did. And then... The, I don't, now I don't, he's, in the, now I, he's basically out of baseball. I don't understand how Puig fell off like that. Like he was, where he at, couldn't even get a contract. At one point well, in time, he was a like, lot of that was the same dudes. thing with Bauer. He's Nobody psycho- wants him. He's a psychopath. Nobody yeah, wants yeah. him. So that's that's a lot of it. Like some yeah. of the the off field stuff was it, it, crazy. It, if you're him. not the, you know how much of a pain in the ass you have to be, as good as Puig was, and good as good as Bauer For was, teams to not to be say, the right. Yeah. They'd be like, like they put up with almost anything, especially from good players. Now Bauer's. You know, pitching it tailed off a little, but I mean, anyway. Uh, but you know, you're right. It can make those trades, but we've been saying that for two years. I know. It's time for them to do it. I know. I can't take this. Like, I think I look at the Guardians and I'm like, okay, Ramirez is my third baseman. End of conversation. Yeah. Jimenez is my second baseman. End of conversation. Yeah. Josh Naylor, whatever. I, I prefer him to be the DH. I but do what? Too. Uh, well, you know, because I'd rather get a first baseman that could be a good fielder. But let's so let's say DH. All right, I don't love as we know, I don't love him against lefties, but he's at least my 80% of the time first baseman. Those three things things are set. I'm I'm giving a bow nailer the every rest op- of this year every and op- next year. Every to prove opportunity. He's the guy. I want him to be the starter and play in most of the games. I'm giving him a chance. Obviously he's unproven. So we're not going to do anything there, probably. And I agree with you. I think you're right. One of let's see. And let's move on. And and I think next year, and then you're going to go at one of the young guys at shortstop, whether it's Arias, Freeman, Rocky, whoever you think yeah. is the best, you don't need to trade. But they need to get three bats, three power hitting bats, two corner outfielders, and then either first base DH. Yeah. And and that's it. Well, you're stuck with Bell right now. Like, I don't know what – that's that's a bad contract. Yeah. He's on the hook for – No chance he opts you, out. You may have to – He is to, opting in. You, <laughs> you may have to. That's a bad one. You may have to attach him, in What's a tra- some, like attach him to Bieber you or something. Some yeah, uh, they should do that. Like uh, you, and it's going to lower the value of your return. Yeah, but it gets you out of a seventeen million, thirty-three million dollar mistake. I'll tell you what makes a lot of sense. Is and hey, I like the Bell signing at the time. We all, hey, we all, we all, because they sh- listen. The Guardian shop at the bargain bin. What was left at that position, he seemed like the best option. Yeah. Okay, hey, I wanted Jose Abreu. He's been awful, too. I never wanted him. I, I saw that coming. I, didn't I like did. Him. I wanted him on one year. He's been horrendous. Yes. Okay, so whatever. We, I get it plenty wrong. But um, with the Guardians, if I, I would take less in return if I'm them. To get off To the get money. rid of Bell. And then in another trade, some of them trade. So you get something. You get one hitter in the Bieber trade. And then use some of the young depth to get another hitter. And then you take less in terms of the minor leaguers you get back in that yeah. Bieber deal. That's how I see it. If you could get, I'm sure if they, if they would take less to get Bell off the off the, the payroll. And if you're trading him to, if you're trading Shane to a team like the Angels or the Dodgers or something like that, yeah, they them. can eat that. They can right. eat that 16 million. It's no not problem. that much money. Yeah. You know. And he, uh, it's well, going speak, be- Speaking of money and mistakes, while we were talking about the Guardians, the Guardians have officially released Mike Zanino. Yeah. So the I know he was DFA last week. I knew we knew it was coming, but the six million dollar mistake is officially a six million dollar mistake. Know, yes, he's out. By the way, you mentioned the Angels, Joe Adele. I mentioned him to Zach. And what did Zach say? For those who don't know, Joe Adele has been one of the best prospects in the Angels system. He's got a huge swing and miss rate. He does. He hit a home run 513 feet right. the other night. Like, He's literally really 513 given, like How many at-bats has he had for the Angels? I they, feel like they uh, haven't really yeah, given him a they chance. they gave him quite a bit. Mike, can you tell me how many plate appearances Joe Adele of the Angels has in the majors? I think he, he's in the minors right now. A-D-E-L-L. A-D-D. No, one D. A-D-E-L-L. Yeah. See how many major league – because he had some last – he's barely been in the majors this year. He's he's what was the number one prospect in baseball? How many at bats? How many career plate appearances in the majors? 
525. That many? Yeah. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah. He played 38 games in 2020, 35 games in 2021, 88 games in 2022, okay, and only one okay. game this year. And what's his career OPS in those 500-something? His not career good. OPS is .623. Not Ugh. good. Yeah, it's not good. Now, not enough. It's one, essentially one season's worth of games. And the guy was such I a I don't know. You're ready to kill Naylor over 500 at-bats. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I, I, I was looking for an argument. Yeah, that's fair. I, uh, but no, I, I do like Joe Adele too. As yeah. an, uh, as a, but again, it's an unproven guy. We've been screaming. That's you got to get a proven bat. He's that's not a true. proven bat. No, I mean, but finding a proven bat that a team's willing to give up, even for a good pitcher, is hard. Yes. And I've been saying the Cardinals all along, but they, they're, I mean, for once, they're out of it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. And the NL Central has kind of taken a step above the AL Central. The Reds have won 10 in a row. The Cubs have won nine of ten. The Brewers are deep. The Pirates have fallen apart. AL Central is the worst division in baseball. By f- maybe ever. Ever. Maybe it could the history be. of the sport. It could be. It was, I was thinking about it this morning. It's funny. The Browns are in the hardest division in football, and the Guardians are in the easiest division in yeah, baseball. Yeah, they are. I it's, mean. The, it is what it is. But the Go back to this. Thing. Look at this. The White Sox are 12 games under 500, and they're only five and a half out. And the, for the amount of talent that team has to be 12 games under 500, there's something they have to. There's something fundamentally wrong in the, Chicago. I don't think the owner will do it because they're five and a half out, and he spent a lot of money on Just payroll blow it there. Up. They should absolutely blow up that team. They've changed managers. They have tear up. There's something rotten yeah. on that team. There's something fundamentally I culturally wrong. I think part wrong. of it is they have a lot of injury-prone guys. Yeah. They're terrible defensively. Eloy's always hurt. Tim Anderson's had a ton of injuries. Yeah. They're terrible. And a lot of their young players that we thought were going to be great have not been great. That's the prospect they, Some of them have been good, but they haven't been. A lot of those guys were supposed to be special. Moncada was supposed to be special. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Eloy was supposed to be special. He's not. He's Look, good, but he's yeah, hurt all but the time. Luis Robert looks like he's becoming he's, special. He's legit. But, like, even their pitchers, there's, a bit, there's been a lot of up and down, a lot of injuries there. You know, anyway, this is, it's, it's a weird, crazy division. All right, Mike. 